honor Dave Goldberg and family and to thank them for their legacy gift, making this Boys and Girls Club possible. In addition to his gift to the Boys and Girls Club and the Heritage Sports Center, Dave inspired others in the community to join him in support of the Boys and Girls Club and our mission to inspire and empower all young people, especially those who need us most to reach their full potential as caring, productive, and responsible citizens. Those joining Dave and helping, helping us with this new site include Minnesota Power, thank you Peggy Hansen, I know you're here, uh, List and the Minnesota Vikings, the Paul Stoutfire Boys and Girls Club of Duluth Foundation, Betsy Mason, Sanzio, Site and Computer Corporation, Jim and Nancy Holdren, and I know they're here this evening as well, Republic Bank, I know John Berkland is here from Republic, Cross Anderson Construction, they've also got some representatives here, National Bank of Commerce, Dick and Patty McNutt, Judy Weber, an ICO, uh, Northern Business Products, Telephone Associates, and U.S. Bank. Like the Boys and Girls Club, Dave believes there is great potential in all children, and, and we as a community have a responsibility to help them succeed. Dave has told me that this gift is in honor of his parents for their love, guidance, and values, to honor and help young people who have not been as fortunate, and especially to honor his grandchildren and to teach them the importance of giving. If you know Dave Goldberg, you know that he does not like this type of recognition. He would much rather do things quietly behind the scenes. Dave has a huge heart and he gives because, because he believes it's the right thing to do. Dave has been a real role model to me and has taught me a lot. I'm proud to have Dave as a supporter of the Boys and Girls Club and honored to have him as a friend. At this time, I'd like to invite City Councilor Todd Fedora to come forward representing Mayor Ness in the city of Duluth with a very important proclamation. Boy, what a day to be in Duluth. Uh, first of all, the mayor sends his regrets for not being able to be here in downtown on city business in Chicago. And oftentimes when that happens, the opportunity for city councilors to, to present these sorts of proclamations is uh, forwarded out to all of us to see which one would like uh, to speak. And oftentimes, uh, I'll volunteer to speak because I've been banking and I've got a lot of time. Uh, but uh, I defer to my colleagues often uh, to give them the opportunity to carry forward the good wishes of the city of Duluth. Uh, when I got the email last week that this was for Dave Goldberg, I didn't reply to the email. I called the city and I said, I want to be there. I have known Dave Goldberg and his family for 20 years. This guy is a uh, has always carried himself with absolute high integrity and respect of others um, and love of community. I've known Daryl since we were in high school. He's aged a lot more gracefully than I have. I've known Dave and Cheryl and Lisa for many years. And so when I had this opportunity, I wanted to be the one to, to present this proclamation on behalf of the city of Duluth for Dave and his family. So this is from the mayor. Whereas Dave Goldberg believes in the importance of helping children, especially those from disadvantaged circumstances, and has been a long time supporter of the Boys and Girls Club mission to empower and inspire young people to reach their full potential as caring, productive, and responsible citizens. And whereas the Boys and Girls Club from the Northland have the capacity to foster positive development in young people and provide young people a safe haven with the guidance of caring adults. And whereas Dave Boulder urged the Duluth Heritage Sports Center to expand their project scope to serve more youth from diverse backgrounds. And whereas Dave Goldberg's generous gift established a state of the art boys and girls club at the Heritage Sports Center and is an investment in children's futures, an investment that pays huge dividends 
for each child and for our community. Now, therefore, I, Don Ness, Mayor of the City of Duluth, do officially proclaim October 19, 2009, as Dave Colbert. Grandson Adam, 